Hey everybody, Joy here. And yes, it's too late in the day to be drinking coffee, so I'm having plain old decaffeinated water. Mmm. At least it's cold. We finally got some warm weather down here. Hold on one second. And it's been so cold. You know, now that my mom isn't here anymore, I go to work in the morning now. And so I keep thinking, okay, it's spring, right? Almost summer. So I'll dress in my sleeveless tops and my little flip-flops, and I'll go out to get in my car, and it's 20 below zero out there. <laughs> so I think today we're actually going to have 75 degrees. And so I may go out after a while and swing on my swing. But um, saddest thing has happened. I don't know how this came to my mind. But do you know the funniest thing? Do you remember the little kitty that got lost in our building? And I brought the kitty home to my mother because she loves cats. And, and when we moved her here, we had to um, take her cats to a shelter because they were really, really old and, and she couldn't take care of them anymore. And um, so anyway, we found this little kitty in our building. And we brought the little kitty home to her. Remember we named the little kitty Button? Jerry said, let's name him Button because he's cute as a button. And mother just loved that kitty. And of course the kitty was grown by now. But do you know the craziest thing? We have not seen that kitty since the day my mom passed. That was April the 15th. So it's like, I don't know what or how, but it seems Button decided he wanted to go to heaven and be with my mom. <laughs> Either that or somebody in the neighborhood's kidnapped him or something, I don't know, but it's just the craziest thing. But anyway, I want to show you what I'm doing. Isn't that terribly exciting? <laughs> I'll tell you, this is going to be a gorgeous quilt. I'm making the Patchwork Barn quilt. It's the block of the month from the quilt show, Edit a Sitar. And of course, I love anything Edit a Sitar. But um, this thing has the worst directions. <laughs> I am so glad that I've quilted enough pieced quilts that I understand a faster and better way to make a block than the way she does the directions because the directions are really sorry and, and even some of them don't even match the way she made the block on the quilt. The one I just made, for instance, doesn't. It's still on the ironing board. But anyway, what you do is every month you make three blocks. So this is number one and number two. I'm working on number three now. This is the second month and it's number one. And so there's three. And so there will be actually a total of 12 each month. And that's how you get all of these millions of blocks on this quilt. <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and do the barn because I love applique. But evidently the barn's the last direction, the last monthly thing that you get to do. So I don't have the barn yet. But anyway, I'm working on that. I finished, I'll pop a picture in here, I finished putting the binding on the Bargello quilt that I bought from Terry. And, oh, oh, I wish a picture could really show you the puffiness and the quilting and the, the luxuriousness of the batik fabrics. You know, a picture just does not do justice. You know, it's kind of nice that a picture kind of hides the details of a person. You know, we like that. <laughs> Unless I get up really, really close and you're like, oh my heavens. <laughs> but anyway, I'll pop a picture right here. I'm going to try to take this picture with absolutely no lighting. Now those are the four pillows that were on the old bedspread. I'm going to make some new pillows um, that uh, are turquoise or brown or something that matches this. But I'm hoping with the lighting coming in from the side that this video will show you the quilting. Let me see if I can get it. It's a panto that I did with my computer. And if anybody wants to know the name of it, I'll find it for you. I don't remember what it's called. But remember, Terry made this. And when I saw her making it, I was with her when she bought all the batiks. These are beautiful, beautiful batiks. And then I ended up putting the turquoise binding on it. So, I think it's pretty. I think the brown or the turquoise would have looked really good. See, there you can see the quilt pattern pretty good. Yeah. Okay, did you see that? Yes, and fortunately, the bed skirt that was already on that bed matches that quilt. Now, the other quilt that I made, which was the Kate Collaring quilt from um, Craftsy, it's gorgeous. Now, I do not have the binding on that one yet, but that quilt's going to require a different bed skirt. 
And I think I actually, I have a name of a lady that either does a painting or knows a painter or knows a whole bunch of people that do construction, um, remodeling the house next door. And so I might even get to get that room painted pretty soon. So I'm excited about that. And other than that, not much new around here. Um, I did make a couple new blouses, but one of them ended up in the garbage. <laughs> You know the funniest thing happened with that blouse? It was the one I was making to match my new purse. And I was going to put those silver heart buttons on it, remember? Well, it was kind of a stiff fabric. I don't know why. It was just a cotton. So I washed it with Coca-Cola, like Peggy Sagers tells you to do for when, for denim. You're supposed to do it for denim, to make denim soft. And I thought, if it does it to denim, it'll do it to this. I got that out of the wash, and I was ironing it, and it had all these little tiny holes here and there. At first I thought, oh my God, I cut a hole in this. And then a little bit later, here was another one. And a little bit later, here was another one. I thought, oh my God, it's like mamas were in the washing machine and ate holes in my fabric or something. <laughs> anyway, I hadn't done the buttons and buttonholes yet, so that one went in the trash. But I do have two other ones. I don't know if I've shown them to you. I'll have to look. I think I was just doing my mother lately. So I don't know if I showed you these others. But if I did, I'll pop a picture right here. Hey, you're expecting a picture, aren't you? Oh, my lightning fast mind. I actually had to go to the bathroom and cross the room where this quilt was, and I just remembered that I have a name. You remember my quilt I made? Using all my scraps. What's it called? Crumb quilting. Remember my crumb quilting? And I've got it all done. Not really all done, just the quilt top's done. But I'm so excited with the name. Ah! I wish I had paid attention to who gave me this name. I'm really sorry. Um, but somebody gave me this name for this quilt, and I absolutely love it. She said, since you finished it, at the same time, your mom left Earth and went to be in the stars. And since this has stars on it, one, two, three, four, five, why don't you call it Starbound? So... Even though it's just a little no big deal quilt. <laughs> I'll just put it in there on one of the movie chairs and we'll use it to cover up when we watch uh, TV and movies. But anyway, this quilt is going to be called Starbound. And yes, I told you I'd show you a picture of the blouse. Well, since I'm wearing it, <laughs> you can just look at it. It has slits right here, see? Okay, excuse that interruption. My husband and his filthy coveralls from mowing the lawn, who's supposed to be outside mowing the lawn, just walked through the door looking for Gorilla Tape. Do I look like somebody who keeps Gorilla Tape? No. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you my Starbound quilt and the blouse I told you I just made. And there's another one just like it, so I'll put it on and show it to you real fast. Be right back. Okay, here's the other one. This one's exactly the same, but different. <laughs> How many of you ladies have told me over the past several years you need to make your blouses longer? So that was my experiment, was to make my blouses longer. So you can see I did. And this is the same as the red one. I don't remember which one was first and which one was second. But this one has a three-quarter sleeve. The other one had short sleeves, remember? So I usually wear this one with white pants. So, I kind of like these new longer versions. I think maybe even a little bit longer. So, okay. So, how did I make them? What pattern were they? Sure Fit Designs. That was my Sure Fit Designs because you can make it to fit you. Perfect bust dart, perfect shoulder width, make it whatever length, make it whatever ease. So that was my Sure Fit Designs. And I'm really excited to use it again because when I get through making something out of that, it actually fits me, which is what we want, isn't it? So, I guess I will keep you. I haven't made any jewelry for a long time. Um, need to get back to it. Um, but I need to make something new to make jewelry to go with, don't I? So, I'll let you go. I just wanted to say hi. And also, thank you guys again for all your sweet, precious comments and for the cards that some of you sent. And I really appreciate all your thoughtfulness regarding the passing of my mom. But we know where she is, and we know we'll see her again, and so we're real excited about that. So, bye for now, and I'll be back real soon.